Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, brother Jack Angry. Things are keep improving for us here at the Monastery of Mayhem and with the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakurama. We want to welcome our newest sponsor, Big Brain Tattoos at 1123 Jackson Street in the Old Market here in Omaha. Uh, they are our newest sponsor and uh, we would like everybody to stop on down and uh, say hi to Smitty and Lenny and the rest of the artists down there. Uh, get a price on a tattoo and the next time you decide to have work done, be sure and, and visit Smitty and see what he can do for you. Now back to the show. What do you have there, Jack Angry? Well, Inferno, I've got tonight's movie. Uh, and greetings, faithful followers, and welcome to another episode of the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakurama. I'm your host, Brother Jack Angry, along with Inferna, my sexy sidekick, the Cougar from Hell. And tonight, we're going to continue in our tradition of the Italian muscle man, sword and sandal kind of films. Uh, tonight's feature is Hercules Unchained. Hmm, he's sexy. Yes, Steve, one thing that you might not know about, Steve Reeves, uh, who at the time he filmed this in 1959, and throughout his subsequent career up until the early 70s, had won many different bodybuilding titles, including, I believe, Mr. Olympia, Mr. Universe, and Mr. World uh, at various times in that uh, period. And it's even, uh, it's even been believed that he is the one that put Schwarzenegger helped uh, him find the path of bodybuilding, and we all know how that turned out, you know, governor of California, and had, an, had a love child with his maid, you know, go Arnold. Yeah, he doesn't look so bad in a skirt. Okay, no, Hercules, actually, they, they weren't called skirts, dear, they were called togas. Okay. But, you know, yeah, they look like skirts to us, it's like... His legs look better than mine. I'm not going there, you know. It's like, sorry, it's like, I, I, don't, I don't look at another dude's legs and say, you know, it's like, ooh, he's got nice calves. It's, hard, it's not hard to miss him. <clears throat> Just saying. Well, yeah. Should I turn up the air conditioning in here? You. Uh... How old is he? <laughs> well, uh, right now he's dead. He died in like 2000. I know, okay. But, um, you know, yeah, Steve, Steve was quite popular with the uh, ladies. Uh, there was rumors that he had had flings with many of his co-stars, including Sylvia Kachina, uh, but we, we really can't confirm or deny that. Um, but there are some of his other co-stars, particularly in this movie, the young actress who played Queen Um there was They were rumored to be an item, and uh, there were pictures of them canoodling was all Was that his wife? In the film? No, uh, Sylvia Kachina was his wife in the film. Okay. The other gal, um, Queen Umphale, is the uh, redhead with the uh, the Black Widow makeup. Oh, yeah, yes. The one, the one who goes around screwing guys and then giving them a potion to make them forget who they were and then killing them. It's not you a know. potion of love, it's a potion of death. Well, what else? What else is new? Let's see. Woman killing, woman killing a man. Gee, there's a concept. Oh my god, did I say that out loud? Some animals eat their own, you Yeah, know, there you go. The way things go. Yes, this is true. But anyway, uh, we're going to bring uh, you this classic tonight. It's Hercules Unchained from 1959 here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakurama. Enjoy. Enjoy. Three, two, one, go. Great. That looks wonderful. So let's... Uh, yeah, um, well, greetings, faithful followers. What did you think of that movie? Wasn't, wasn't Hercules heroic? What did you think of the uh, little fight in the uh, tavern between him and uh, uh, those um, Greek toughs, as it were? But anyway, just a little uh, bit of trivia here. Um, one of the uh, scenes in the film, at 23 minutes, you're going to see the scene with the tiger trainer. Uh, the way he is seen from his side, he's holding a whip in his right arm in his right arm, and then there's a short, quick cutaway shot of him to the front, and he's holding it in his left. And when the shot changes angle, 
Once again, it's back in his right hand, so I guess they must wanted to keep the uh, whip in the frame, you know. That whip must have had a pretty damn good agent to get so much camera time. Yeah, whip it. Whip it. Well, whip anyway. that cat. Anyway, uh, no, we, as far as we know, no tigers were whipped during the filming of this movie. We don't want to um, whip any tigers. Anyway, the... Um, no animal abuse. No, there was no animal, animal abuse. Um, and uh, Hercules is, uh, just to give you a little bit of uh, trivia here, uh, Hercules' wife, who is played by the um, Italian actress Sylvia Cascina, uh, she was at one time considered to be one of Italy's top actresses. What you may not know is, at the time... Crickets. I think that Brother James is here. Yes, it's like crickets. Well, we've got to get them uh, as exterminators. Cut. We'll cut it in, so go answer it. <laughs> Well, if, if it's something important, call him back. I think I'm okay. It's okay. 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 All right. Well, like I said, we'll just we'll just I'll just cut this. Crickets. Yeah, crickets. <laughs> it's like where the hell? Okay. Okay. Keep anyway, going. keep going. Um, all right, and uh, Sylvia Cascina. Uh, was basically considered to be one of Italy's top actresses at that point. And while she was filming this movie, she was in the final stages of a fight with leukemia. Um, she uh, was only able to complete one more film after this, and she had died in November while working on a second, which was never released. So that's a little bit of sad trivia there. Um, yeah, they it's didn't. Sad. Yes, they She's pretty lady. Yes, yeah, she I is very, that, right? very pretty. I mean, yeah. um, and you're on our just to throw you a quick note here on our movie review program, we're going to be doing a little retrospective of basically hot women in B movies, including such titles as Devil Girl from Mars, the the Wild Women of Wongo, and the Queen of Blood. And what all these movies have in common. They all have exceptionally striking female leads, such as Patricia Laffin, and uh, the other. The names of the other gals escape me at the moment, but I'll I'll, I'll do a little re quick research when we do the when we shoot that one. But you can look for that on our movie program live movie night live from the Monastery of Mayhem. Uh, you'll also be able to see it in one of our upcoming episodes all here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shockerama. Now we're going to let you get back to Hercules Unchained here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shockerama. Enjoy. Enjoy. Well, greetings, faithful followers. What did you think of that film? Wasn't Hercules a dreamboat? Well, okay, she said it, I didn't. It's like. Bunch of hot, big, sweaty, muscly guys running around in togas. Not my scene, sorry. Brother Jack, don't swing that way. But anyway, it was not a bad film for the genre in which it had represented. Uh, the Italian muscle man, sword and sandal, kind of sword and sorcery thing, actually continued from the late 50s, the end of the 50s, through the 60s, into the early 70s. Uh, the last one being the film Hercules in New York, which uh, starred um, Lou Ferrigno, I believe. We'll have to do a little research on that, but after that, the genre kind of went away. Um, a lot of facial hair. Yes, yes, well, you know, it's like in ancient Greece... So if manly. You, well, if you were clean-shaven, you were considered to be effeminate, and, you know, so manly men had beards, which was really kind of stupid. With skirts. Well, hey, they were called togas, you know. I know, I know. Yes, it's like you didn't want to tell a guy that looked like that carrying a sword, he's running around in a skirt. You and could... you couldn't tell at all that he shaves his legs. Well, it's like, you know, they shave their chest to chest waxers, you know. Oil it up. Chest waxer says what? Yes, we all saw 300. We all get that reference. But anyway, next week we're going to be bringing you... Uh, we're going to be bringing you the classic 1954 film, 
Devil Girl from Mars, starring Patricia Laffin. Uh, this one we will be featuring on our movie review program. We'll do a quick review of it, along with some really great clips and some really great photos. This movie was featured a... Uh, oh, kind of, you know. No, not on the moon. She was from Mars, but this is one of the movies. Is this movie is special because of the fact it represents the height of British B movies. It was actually nominated for several British Film Industry Awards. I, I believe uh, I don't remember the name of the award right now, but I know it was. It got a lot of note at its time because of the fact the British, being the somewhat conservative bunch that they are, was it uh, anything like? Something about women are from Mars and they're from Venus? Or no, it's not something. like that. But the, the plot of the movie is Patricia Laffin plays an alien emissary from Mars coming to Earth looking for men for breeding stock because the women of Mars, after a long war, have pretty much killed off all the men or subjugated them to the point where everybody's a little bit... if you know what I mean. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Men are... Men are from Mars, women are from hell, but, oh, gee, did I say yes, that? Yes, I am. And damn, did I say that out loud again? Damn demons. My, <laughs> my demonic possession is acting up today, so pay me no mind. But anyway, the movie is a classic of British B uh, cinema, and it has a lot of good uh, qualities, particularly Patricia Laffin, who's quite stunning, and pair this with the fact that they've put her in an extremely tight leather outfit, you know, and uh, have her uh, shooting a ray gun. You know, it's it's a it's a guy film. There's no doubt about it. And I think you'll you'll all would like it, Faithful Followers. And we'll be bringing that to you next week, along with three new movies on our review program, live from the Monastery of Movie Night, live from the Monastery of Mayhem. We also want to throw a shout out to our friends Remo D at, in San Diego at the Manor of Mayhem. Uh, because of him, we were nominated for a Hooker Award, and we won for continuing the uh, continuing the mom tradition. Remo has the Manor of Mayhem. We have the Monastery of Mayhem. So we're continuing that tradition, and that's why we won the award. And you can see that on our web page and our blog. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to add, Inferna? Awesome. Yes. Yes, it is awesome. It's always nice to get recognition from one's peers. We do want to throw a shout out to our friends at the Horror Congress. Um, we'll be getting a, this cut and edited so we can get it up to you guys on your Facebook page. And we'll be submitting a review for the new film Evil Dead 2013, which I had the uh, opportunity to see and I'm going to be writing a small review of that on the blog as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that, faithful followers. On behalf of myself, Brother Jack Angry, and Inferna. Hello. Yes. Good night, unpleasant dreams, and let's keep America on, on top. Watch horror hosts, everyone. Sweet dreams. Unpleasant dreams. Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, along with Inferna. Hi. And Sin. And we just wanted to take a moment to welcome our newest sponsor, Big Brain Tattoos in. Omaha, Nebraska. Now they're located at 1123 Jackson Street, which is on the back side of the old market here in downtown Omaha. We hope you'll stop by and see Smitty, the owner, and Lenny uh, and Jason, two of his best artists, and they will be happy to answer all of your questions and deal with whatever your tattoo needs are, whether you're just pricing a tattoo, you have a design, or you need a design. Lenny and his artists will be happy to uh, to draw that out and set it up to your satisfaction and all of uh, their work is all their work is backed by uh, Led Smitty and his artists so you'll never go away dissatisfied from Big Brain so be sure and check them out and tell them the Angry Brothers sent you and if you'd like to check his webpage out it's www dot bigbrainomaha.com